Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, everyone. We have a special, special, special um, principal's office today. Again, I'm Mr. Mumford, the principal here at the Aspen Pink Center. Going with my co-host, Mr. Warren, the principal at the Cypex Center. Mr. Warren, you want to say hello? Hello, hello, and welcome. We have some special guests here today. Um, our special guests are our Governor Educator of the Year uh, recipients from both Aspen Pink and Cypex. Uh, right now, I'm going to pass it over to Mr. Warren, so Mr. Warren can introduce is uh, Governor uh, uh, Educator of the Year recipients. Thank you, Mr. Munford, um, and hello all and welcome. Uh, this is a very special episode. Uh, last month, we uh, presented these awards to uh, these four outstanding uh, professionals. Um, but uh, right now, I'm going to focus on the Psychedelic Center and joining with us today, uh, with me actually in the principal's office, is uh, our Educational Services Professional of the Year. His name is Mr. Milton Sarmiento. And also with us, our Teacher of the Year for the Sapex Center, Mr. Joseph Washington, okay? So first and foremost, this is a very prestigious award. Uh, a lot goes into it, a lot of planning. And this is um, a recognition of the job that they do on a daily basis. And it was recognized by their peers. Um, we all came together. We went through a selection process. And both for SIPEC, uh, both uh, Milton and uh, Joe were selected uh, for their respective, uh, these respective awards. So I want to turn it over to them. Uh, I want to give them some airtime and uh, so they can share their thoughts. And, um, you know, you can uh, tell uh, everyone a little bit about yourselves and what you do here at the SIPEC Center. So, uh, Milton, since you're here live in the office, do you want to share uh, with uh, with our audience, uh, you know, what it is that you do here at SIPEC and, um, you know, and whatever thoughts you want. So go for it. For all sure. right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Hello to all. And I really uh, want to say thank you, uh, first of all, for uh, everyone who uh, has uh, come in to uh, select me uh, uh, to, the, for, to, to have this award uh, is really uh, something very uh, meaningful, very important for me. And I think it's, uh, it has to do with the, uh, what I have to, I try to do every day uh, when I come to school uh, is is focusing and, and finding uh, the best way to help the students, to support them. Especially at the beginning of the last year, uh, we, we had um, students who uh, were new to the country, new to the school system, new to the language, and, 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 and so they need a lot of support. But, uh, but going forward, uh, I also try to include myself in, in also finding ways to support every student in general. And I think it's, it's very important for me to, to, to have that in mind every time I come to school and every, every time I'm in school and working with the students. So that's that's very much uh, on a daily basis. Uh, I I try to interact. I try to to hear them, uh, see how they feeling, uh, and then go from there. And of course, the academics always uh, takes priority, uh, but also sometimes uh, it, it goes beyond the academics. Sometimes it goes taking the extra step, uh, trying to 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 be the support additional support that maybe sometimes they might not have at, at home, trying to, to have them feel uh, some sort of uh, a safe place that they can come and they can also come with all of us, including all the teachers and, and principal at school. So that's pretty much an uh, objective that, uh, that I've been trying and I try to do every day. And Charmiento, he is um, one of the most genuine and kind persons I've ever met in my life. Uh, he is here for the kids strictly. And, you know, he, besides his duties of support in the classroom, like he said, um, he's here to support students, um, you know, throughout our school community. Um, I know he's very involved with um, activities throughout our campus. And uh, we're lucky to have him here. And, you know, just keep doing what you do, pal. And, um, you know, our kids will uh, feel supported and, um, you know, achieve. So thank you. 
Mr. Washington is one of uh, our, our Teacher of the Year recipient. He is a social studies teacher here at SiteDec. Um, Mr. Washington, do you want to tell our, uh, our audience about yourself? Sure, Mr. Warren. Yep. Um, so my name is Mr. Washington, Joe Washington. This is my uh, seventh year teaching at MCTS. Um, I've been up at, at SiteBec for most of that time working with the culinary academies and the STEM academies. Um, and, just, you know, just uh, really an honor to, to, to get this recognition from, you know, my peers, colleagues. Uh, there's so many great people that work here um, that, that I've learned from over these seven years. Uh, just it, it really meant a lot, um, you know, to, to have this happen. Um, but uh, like I said, I work with the STEM and, and Culinary Academy. So our students that are here full time uh, from the time they're freshmen uh, up through up through seniors now. Um, so we get to, you know, in, in that regards, as an academic teacher, really see these see these kids through their high school careers um, and really see them grow from from the time they're 14, 15 year olds uh, coming in our door from all the different um, townships in our county uh, all, all the way up through graduation. So it's it's been really um, a, a cool experience here. Uh, I think we're, we have a lot of unique things about us that, that make this such a great place to work at. Uh, but, you know, one of the, the biggest things is, is our kids. Uh, we got some really driven kids that, that come here. Um, and at the end of the day, they make life uh, kind of easy for us because of, of how much they want to be here. Um, and you know that that part of it, uh, I, th I think, is big. We get to impact people from all over the county, all different backgrounds, come together in one place, um, and, and put some really good things together. Uh, I also work with student council, and that's kind of gotten to the point where um, you know I'm just there as a resource to our kids because our kids are are able to, to you know grab the ball and run with it um, with, with some really good things around our school to to you know really create the culture and the atmosphere that we want here um, for them to be, you know, positive, a lot of things to look forward to and uh, get back to our community at the same time. So um, that's kind of what I do here. And like I said, just uh, really honored, you know, to, to receive this award. And we're honored to have you um, go and thank you so much. And similar to what uh, Milton said, Joe works inside the classroom, but he also works outside the classroom in our school community. And I think that's extremely vital to, um, you know, being a, um, you know, high performing professional and uh, really um, a method of support for our students. So um, Mr. Washington, his work in the classroom, he differentiates, he really finds any and which way to, to connect with our students and making that connection is really important. And he, he, he has done that, he has achieved it and he's still doing it. So, um, you know, congratulations to him. Um, and, uh, you know, we, uh, we're very fortunate to have both these professionals here um, on our campus and in our district. So yeah. thank you both. And I think at this time, I'm going to throw it back over to my colleague, Mr. Munford, for, yeah. uh, for Aston Pink. So. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Warren. It does sound like you have two great individuals over there that's deserving of these, these awards. So I want uh, congratulations to say congratulations to you, Joe, and also um, to... Uh, congratulations. Uh, this is obviously, you know, something that we, um, you, you know, it's a, it's a prestigious award. And, you know, for your peers to recognize you um, to receive this award is, is, is extremely important. So congratulations. Uh, so for Aston Pink, we have, I, you know, they say that James Brown is the hardest or was the hardest working person in show business. Well, I got the hardest working individuals in, in education. Um, Patricia Paltini and Mr. Trevor Geist, these people work their tails off for me, man, over here at Aston Pink. And it, it's not only recognized by me and, and my, uh, my staff, but it's also recognized by the parents, also recognized by their, by the, their, their peers, um, by the students. And again, these individuals were voted in as governor, of, governor educator of the year. Uh, Mr. Geis is going to, I'm going to introduce Mr. Geis first, and then Ms. Faltini, I'll introduce you second. Uh, Trev, if you could talk a little bit about what you do. Um, I can tell you that uh, Trevor is a, a very, very, very organized, meticulous, uh, on-point teacher. I mean, he's got his guys working very, very hard in the shop. Um, 
he's he's guy Trevor. I don't want to talk too much about what you're doing because you know I, I'll leave you nothing to say. But uh, I just I want to brag on you so much, man. Um, same thing with Patty. But Trev, at this point, I'll give it over to you, and you can talk a little bit about your shop. If you do miss something, I will, I will at the end put it in there. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, well, first of all, I'll echo what they said uh, that, you know, thank you very much to everybody for the honor um, means a lot. Uh, it's nice to, you know, you feel sometimes you feel like you're working real hard and you're in a silo by yourself and you wonder if people notice. Uh, and uh, it's nice to get recognized. So thank you very much uh, to everybody uh, for that honor. Um, uh, basically, look at this as uh, since I'm a shop teacher, uh, I teach heating and air conditioning. Uh, this is my fourth year teaching. Um, and with heating and air conditioning, the pathway is a little bit different. They go into most of them, if they choose to do this career path, will go right into work as opposed to going into higher ed. Um, so because of that, I like to focus quite a bit on the things that they need in the real world. So the students' um, professionalism. Uh, showing up on time, having their stuff correct, but more important than that is starting to take ownership and pride in their work um, and and really uh, evaluating themselves and thinking critically and not getting stopped. And I'm sure all of us in education know that that's uh, you know, hard to teach in one year, two years, whatever. Uh, it's kind of something that students don't really have much of anymore where they they have the wherewithal, the perseverance and the critical thinking skills to move forward. So I try in two years to get them to that point so that when they go out to work, they don't get fired <laughs> and uh, so they can succeed. And also, of course, get them their certifications. So they take uh, they do an EPA certification for us. It's an industry required credential. Yeah. Um, so they do that and they do um, OSHA 10, which I all, all the hard shops get, I know. Um, and then also uh, gas tight, flexible gas line certification so that they're certified to work on that. Um, something else I'm working on for them is pre-apprenticeship, which has been approved for this year so that all the students will be uh, pre-apprentices when they come out of the program, they'll have a certificate with required time and a re related technical instruction hours that they can use. So I guess the point I'm bringing up, oh, sorry, there goes the bell. Um, so the point of me bringing all that up is just that, uh, like, like the others have said, it is all about the students, you know, and a, a lot of people um, you know, have other places they could be and work, work and probably even make more money. And they're here for that reason. And I feel like I'm lucky to be a part of this district that has so many people in it that chose to be here to, to really benefit the students. And, and I'm glad to be one of them. I really, that's why I'm here. I want to uh, make sure that the students have a good life uh, continuing forward and they're set up well for that. And that's, that's the main focus. So. Yeah. Thank you, Trev. Thank you. Um, I do want to add something that you didn't talk about. Um, Trev is in the process of setting up his setting up internships for his students, and something that I think is a, is a really big, um, uh, you know, part of our curriculum for HVAC. But it's going to be really big for his curriculum, um, and setting that up for students to make sure that they are prepared once they leave here um, in the field of HVAC. So, Trev, you want to talk about that a little bit? Um, so if you're, it depends, I guess, on which direction you're referring. If you're talking about work-based learning, like uh, going out to work, is that what you're referring yep. to? Yep. Yeah. So uh, each year, I mean, of course, the, the, the best goal, the way that any shop will work, uh, the best possible scenario would be that they learn as much as they can in their first year, and then they get certified in whatever industry valued credential they need. And then they go out to work instead of staying with me. And that's the CIE program. Um, which is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, career internship experience, uh, where they go, they actually have a job in the field, they get paid, and they go work in the field uh, before they leave the program uh, so that they have a support staff, a system here. They have me, they have the rest of the, uh, the CIE coordinators and the people in the school to support them while they get their feet wet in the field and figure out first, do they actually like this? And, um, sorry guys, the bell is going off. Uh, and uh, and first, do they actually like it? And second, if they do like it, then they'll have a job that they can just roll into, uh, you know, upon graduation. Uh, so last year, we had 100% universal certified in their industry credential, which was an anomaly. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to do that every year. Hopefully we can. But, um, you know, that was pretty awesome. And then we also had 11 out of uh, 14 with jobs in the industry upon graduation, which was pretty 
uh, I felt pretty uh, amazing as well. So i uh, very proud of the students, but also, yeah, we're giving them a lot of opportunity to better themselves before they even make it into the real world, if you will. So, Thank you, Trev. Thank you. And also with us today is Miss Patricia Faltini. She is our school nurse. And Miss Patricia Faltini, you want to talk about, you know, what you do here at Aspen Pink? Sure. And I just want you to know, I do smile because Mr. Mumford made the comment when we took the picture for our <laughs> website, I didn't have a smile. So I apologize. I do smile. Yeah. Um, so I'm Patty Foltini. I've been a certified school nurse for 17 years, but a nurse 34 years. And I came to Mercer County Technical School's Asapin campus during the thick of COVID when we came back to school. So a lot was thrust upon me. Um, mm -hmm. I really wasn't participating in any groups or clubs with the students until I got my feet wet and got everything organized. But um, here on our campus, <laughs> Uh, we have 429 students, which includes our shared time and our full time. And um, I'm constantly doing stuff. So we have bulletin boards to keep staff and students up to date as to what's going on, either with health or with extra community activities, uh, outside activities that students can participate with their parents. Um, I also... Oh, gosh, what else do we do? You know, the basic nursing, take care of the boo-boos. So I follow after the students. I actually take care of staff. God forbid something happens. Um, we are having on participating in the first blood drive this year, which is March 14th. But my biggest thing is I want to thank Mr. Mumford and Ms. Conrad for coming to me because the first thing I thought was, oh, my God, who's hurt? And it wasn't... When they said to me, you won this award, I was shocked because I never thought school nurses could win these awards. Um, in previous, the two other previous school districts that I was in, no school nurse ever won. So I had no idea, but I do thank you very much for electing me and I appreciate this and it is a wonderful honor. And um, so my, my biggest thing is, is to keep going, uh, help students out when they need it. Uh, maybe participate a little bit more with the clubs. But when anybody comes in here, I never turn them away. And I'm always learning new things every day. So besides the students learning something, and I try and teach them when they come in because I don't teach a class. So if they come in with a problem or concern, I try and teach them, show them different sites on the website on how to find, you know, what they're experiencing. And um, parents, I maybe refer to outside sources I'm so sorry, whether it's the food pantry or uh, mental health resources and, um, you know, referring to doctors, specialty doctors. You know, I'm constantly printing things out, how to register for New Jersey Family Care for health insurance. And uh, that's pretty much it. Plus, I'm also always updating my credentials, you know, doing um, outside seminars or online credentials to constantly keep my certifications up to date with nursing because besides my Jersey license, I also have my Pennsylvania license too. So thank mm -hmm. you again, I appreciate it. Well, absolutely, Patty, you're definitely deserving of it. Trevor, you as well. Um, you guys do an amazing job for us. I mean, it, Patty, I can honestly say if it wasn't for you and the work that you do, um, just you know, keeping people in the know about COVID, um, keeping people in the know about you know all the teachers and you know, in the know about what's going on with their students, you know, so forth and so on. You've done an amazing job. I just say, keep doing your, what you do, you know, keep, keep doing what you do. Um, it's definitely appreciated. Trev, keep doing what you do. It's definitely appreciated. I know Mr. Warren feels the same way about his two teachers at, at, at SIPEC as well. Um, Mr. Warren, I, I have one question for you. What's that question? Why would a student want to come to Mercer County Technical School to be in one of these amazing teachers' classrooms or have an experience with one of these amazing teachers? Well, I think it's clear that magic happens here at Assunpink and Sightback. And here's some proof of the magic that happens here on a daily basis uh, with our support staff and our teachers. And, um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Thanks, all. Thank you, everybody.